Hurricane season comes to a close at the end of this month. And also new today, scientists are able to analyze how much stronger this year's storms were than if they occurred a century ago. Here's meteorologist Melissa Nord to explain. Climate change increased wind speeds for every 2024 Atlantic hurricane, according to new analysis released by Climate Central. And for the first time, scientists can quantify how much stronger these recent hurricanes are, shares the author and climate scientist Dr. Daniel Galeford. For the first time ever, we can put a number on the extent to which human beings are increasing the intensity of hurricanes because of human-caused ocean warming. We know that the warming temperatures are, uh, are out there in the Gulf are affecting these, these hurricanes. And now we can say with strong confidence that we are responsible for increasing the intensity of these storms that are affecting our communities. At an average of 18 miles per hour stronger, storms today are about one category higher on the Saffir Simpson scale. Helene's max intensity was 16 miles per hour higher than if the storm had happened before the Industrial Revolution. Other storms were much higher. Hurricane Raphael, when it, while it was a Category 3 storm, would have actually been a Category 1 storm without human-caused climate change influencing the sea surface temperatures that it experienced. In the study, they looked at current sea surface temperatures and compared it to temperatures from before the Industrial Revolution. They knew these based on known temperatures and those from climate models. So why does it matter? What do warmer temperatures mean for hurricanes? Well, tropical systems get their energy from warm ocean waters. They act like a steam engine, gaining energy and strength from latent heat. The warmer the water, the more fuel for storms to intensify. The stronger the storm, the more damage it can do. In fact, a 10% increase in max winds of a landfalling tropical system can result in a 50% increase in damages. This study doesn't peer into other factors that influence hurricane intensification or involve where storms will make landfall. In Georgia, the last decade has hit the state particularly hard, as Will Langston, meteorologist at GEMA, describes. We, one lesson we've learned over the last few years is that it doesn't just take a coastal strike for us to have significant impacts in Georgia. From Michael in 2018 to Adalia in 2023. And now, Helene. Helene was devastating. There's just, there's no way around it. It's going to take years to recover in some areas. Um, the agricultural industry is, you know, may never be the same in some ways. Um, so we, we still have a lot of work ahead of us. Langston says the number of storms to strike Georgia this year was an anomaly, much higher than the norm, a trend that we've seen play out in recent years. I think these Gulf strikes have, they've become a bit more frequent recently. Um, and I, I think that's probably going to continue. Uh, just because of how warm the Gulf of Mexico has been um, in these above average seasons. So uh, my advice would just be no matter where you are in the state, even if you live outside of the coast, have a hurricane plan. So bottom line, the science dots are connecting. The warm ocean waters are linked with stronger hurricanes. And although we don't know where these storms will go in advance, we can say the damage potential is increasing. So always a really good reminder to be vigilant as we get into hurricane scene. Of course, here in Georgia, we can have severe weather all year round. Doesn't mm -hmm. take a hurricane to cause damage here. We can see winter storms, severe weather in January. So always a good reminder. Yeah, and we really are seeing what you have laid out yeah. for us. And I think more and more people are starting to notice. Mm -hmm. So there's a full interview on 11 Alive Plus if you're interested with that climate scientist who put all this research out. So you can watch more about there. All right, Melissa, we appreciate you as always.